Guys, I want to talk to you today about the 2018 Grizzly. This thing, 17, this is 1754. And I want to go over this with you and give you guys like a better look at this. So, right off the bat, um, I want to like talk to you about the trailer. Okay, you see this trailer? This, um, when you get a trailer, you want to get a galvanized trailer. Just want to say that right now, okay? Galvanized. Galvanized or aluminum. Okay, so go over here. <clears throat> Let me kind of like walk, go through this with you. Okay, some people may be like really big into like mercury. Um, personally, I like Yamaha, uh, Honda, made in Japan, but whatever. If you like mercury, good for you. Something to look for in a John boat. When you're looking for a John boat, do you see how this is uh, welded? You want to get welded. Come here. You do not want rivets. You want welds. Now, this doesn't look like it's welded all the way, but you want welds. Okay, that's what you want. Something else you want to look for. You need to, um, <clears throat> you need to get, you need to know, like, what are you, like, what are you going to use it for? Okay, so I live in Florida, and like there's like the intercoastal and the ocean. This is probably not the best ocean boat, but it probably could be taken out on a calm day, but then if the, the waves picked up, yeah. So, what I want to go over here. One thing that's really important for a, um, like if you're into like cast setting and stuff, is you need a nice, big, like it's nice to have a big platform, okay? So you can be like up here, maybe we have like a trolling motor up here. It looks like maybe there's a place to plug in uh, a trolling motor or something. So um, possibly so. And you need to be able to kind of go and so, okay? I spent some time on a John boat. This has a really nice big platform. It's also nice is that it has a nice floor and it looks like it drains under. So like water can go down and drain. Okay, it also looks like it has a bunch of storage. Yes, quite a bit of storage. Um, so this is good. It's also important to keep bait alive. So that's nice that it has it built in and that you can also step on it. That is something that would be nice. Now this right here, I just want to warn you, these seats are black. Now you, so they may attract more heat. And uh, in the, somewhere else, it might not be as big of a deal, but in Florida, you need to be conscious of that. So maybe you need like a cushion or something. Let's show you in here. <clears throat> All right. Um, doesn't seem to have a ton of switches, aerator lights. Um, yes, this works for the motor. Um, <clears throat> this is also nice. And it's got like a platform back here. You may want to throw a cast net back here. And then you can also walk. See how they have this little ledge right here? So you can walk. Now. If you got pretty good balance, maybe you can walk on the edge. That's great for you. Maybe other people don't have this quite a good balance, okay? So, these are nice right here. They're plastic. Um, might be nice if they would have put stainless steel, but whatever. So in, in here, here's the uh, fuel line right here. Guys, one thing I want to talk to you about, <clears throat> guys, is if it's possible, you might really want to consider like having like two separate fuel tanks. So if you have an issue with your fuel, um, like let's say one of your fuel things is bad for some reason, you have like another fuel um, fuel tank with a separate fuel line and just something to consider. <clears throat> okay. So here uh, it looks like there's two pumps, uh, whatever right here. Um, and there's a battery place for here and there's a battery place for up here. Overall, this doesn't seem to have like a ton of ton of features. It, it is uh, probably a very sturdy boat. So here's where you can put a seat and also put a seat up here. And um, right here, fishing rod uh, holders, whatever. Um, <clears throat> depending on your locality, if it's legal, guys, don't do it if it's not legal. You might even be able to put like a rack here and put like a gun here. Maybe enter like uh, duck hunting or something. So overall, it seems like a pretty good place. Maybe this would hold your Yeti cup or whatever cup you use. Um, but it seems like a pretty good price. Now, <clears throat> the, this this thing is like, the, the price on this is like $15,000. Okay, watch that one. Um, 
<clears throat> so, $15,965, and they give you a free $500 gift card, I guess. Um, and then if you add tax on here, you really might be looking at, I mean, who knows all if whatever, um, maybe into like the $16,000 range. Guys, just so you know. Okay, I bought my first house for $14,500. This boat is more than my first house. Um, I bought my house without a bank mortgage. Um, it's got like two bathrooms. It's got, um, yeah. So, uh, it's cheaper than this boat. And I, with, with closing costs and stuff, it might've been around like 15 some thousand dollars. So that is something to consider. Now, if you want to save money on a boat, okay, what you need to do is go on Craigslist Okay, so here's like this this way to get a boat, which is if you want to spend maybe around sixteen something thousand dollars, maybe seventeen. Okay, if you want to get a boat for cheaper, let me tell you how to do it. You go on Craigslist and you find someone who bought a boat like this, um, and they might be willing to sell it. They might have had it for a while. Maybe it's been sitting in the garage. Maybe they tried parking it. Yeah, maybe their HOA or something is giving them problems and maybe they'll sell you this boat for a significant discount. Also, if you're looking for like a good quality boat, <clears throat> um, okay, obviously this one looks pretty good, but um, there's also a G3, try to get like the welded one. And I really love the Sea Arc. I had the Sea Arc, I've had the G3. Um, and but uh, yeah, definitely like if you're gonna be in like where, this, where the, like, the, the chop and the water is, you really wanna get welded. Like seriously, get just get the welded. Some people may be like really into like, I want a fiberglass boat and they ride better. And you know, they, they, they may ride better, maybe they're heavier and maybe they have a better ride. Guys, my John boat, I've had in some like shallow uh, stuff. So different needs, maybe like depending on what, like, what you need or whatever. But before you spend this much, <clears throat> um, maybe try Craigslist, just like check it out. Maybe check eBay, maybe check OfferUp, um, and just kind of see like what's out there. Um, but anyways, guys, if you like this video, if it was helpful to you, please give it a uh, thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share. I wanna have a, uh, I wanna have an Amazon link in the description if you need to buy fishing gear. If you wanna, um, it would really help me out if you would click that link to go to Amazon if you wanted to buy stuff. But um, guys, thank you guys so much. Have a great day. God bless you and God loves you.